Hi, welcome back to another one of my makeup videos. Today I'm gonna do a tutorial slash challenge. I am going to do my entire face using only powder products. So this is the final look and every single thing on my face is a powder. There's not a single cream or liquid on this face. Let's jump into the video and I will show you how I do that and which products I use. So I've been trying to come up with maybe a new name for my makeup YouTube persona like Megan Makeup, Mega Makeup, Megala Makeup, Makeup Megs, Mega Mega Makeup, Makey Megs, Makeity Meg Meg Mega Legga Leg Leg. Anyway, they all sound pretty stupid so uh, sticking to Megan for now. Now. I've already moisturized my skin. Unfortunately, there is no such thing as a powder moisturizer, I think, for obvious reasons. And if those reasons aren't obvious, let me refer you to something called science. But I do have a powder sunscreen, which is crazy. This is a brush on sunscreen. If you pop out the little brush like this, and I don't know if you can see the powder come. Oh, yep, there it goes. And you brush it onto your face. It's actually really nice and doesn't smell like anything. And I did some research on it, and it really does work. It's good. This is an SPF 50. Love it. So now you should be wearing sunscreen every single day because even just going outside to walk your dog or whatever exposes you to the sun, and exposing your face to the sun causes wrinkles. So unless you like the look of being an old raisin, uh, yeah, put sunscreen on. Also, skin cancer. Nobody wants to say the word cancer on a YouTube tutorial, though. So instead of saying skin cancer, I like to just say skin exposure because cancer is such an intense word and I don't want to be cancerous on my YouTube video. How many times did I just say cancer? Cancer. My hair is doing some Helena Bonham Carter curls today, but we're gonna... Nope, we're gonna go with it. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Fit Me Loose Powder in the color Medium Deep. Now, this says that it's a finishing powder, and there are a lot of powder foundations out there that are actually foundations, for example, Bare Minerals, or um, a pressed powder foundation, but I don't happen to own any of those right now, so I'm going to use this as my foundation because it's actually very pigmented. So with a sponge, I'm just gonna start pressing it onto my face. Yeah, that actually works really well. With powder foundations, whether it's a pressed powder or a loose powder, I find that a sponge applies it the best. I mean, I feel that a sponge applies all foundations the best, but with powders, you especially wanna use a sponge so that you can press it into your face. So you can definitely see a little bit of my imperfections through my foundation, but I find in the past that that happens with any powder foundation. It's just, if you want really full coverage, it's better to stick to a liquid or cream. But since today is powder day, we're gonna go for a little bit lighter coverage. Now there is such a thing as a powdered concealer. I looked it up, Bare Minerals makes one for example, but I don't have it, so I'm gonna use my Fit Me Loose Powder to kind of act as a concealer and just kind of tap that underneath my eyes. Yeah, there we go. So that just gives like a little bit of a brightening effect to the face. Now for my brows, I happen to have a brow powder. It's called a Powder Brow Filler, it's from NYX. I've never used it. I bought it one time because I was like, oh yeah, another brow product to try, but then I've never used it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try today. Start by combing these. See how this goes. It's very interesting. It's definitely powder. I don't know if I like it or not. I can't tell. You have to build it a lot more because it goes on kind of sheer, whereas with an eyebrow pencil or an eyebrow cream, you can just one swipe and your brow is on. Well, I don't think I would recommend this product to people that have sparse brows that need filling in, but if you already have good eyebrows with a good shape and just enjoy a little bit of darkening or a little bit of filler, this would be a great product for you. Ah, yeah, see, if I go anywhere that doesn't have hairs, you can't even really see it that much. Like, look at that. Well, there it is a little bit. Oh gosh, what is this, Ash Wednesday? Bible jokes, Bible jokes, Bible jokes. Yeah, I think that's as good as it's gonna get, which is fine. It's like a really kind of natural looking finished brow, I guess which I don't like having natural looking brows. I like having drawn on brows, but that's okay for today. All we're doing is going Christmas shopping later. For eyeshadow today, I'm gonna use a Kylie Jenner palette. Say what you will about the Kardashians, but the girl can make makeup. I'm just gonna take 
some of these brownish colors in here and this is my technique that I do a lot just to add a little bit of more warmth to my eyes and it's turning out a little bit orange so we're just gonna go with it and do an orangey look today that's totally fine I do love using a cream glitter which I won't do today obviously but Kylie happens to have a little bit of a pow yeah this is very powdery glitter it's oh yeah this is Oh, weird looks much better on the eye than it did on my finger well that's great because I do want to have at least a little bit going on and then I'm gonna take some of this really pretty gold powder and throw that in my inner corners my favorite thing to do with any eye look I still have my eyelash extensions on so I will not be doing some sort of powder mascara which I have no idea if that actually exists but uh, if it did I am NOT gonna try it today that looks really pretty oh my eyebrow let me try again you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this little tiny angled brush and in the black eyeshadow, maybe that will help a little bit. Oh yes, there's the fill that I wanted. Black eyeshadow is a great eyebrow filler. Yes, that looks so much better. Oh my gosh, I'm so much happier. All right, for highlight, I have the Master Chrome from Maybelline, which is a powder highlighter, and I'll just throw that on my brush. And the classic, hit the high points of the face. The powder foundation doesn't really wanna to stick to this part of my face, and it's kind of creating this weird, like, I'm obviously wearing bronzer on my face effect, which I don't like because I never want it to look like I'm wearing a bunch of makeup you know what I mean I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that powder and kind of rub it in a little bit over here just to make my skin tone look a little more seamless yeah see that already helped much better Maybe you can't tell the difference, but I definitely can. It looks better, trust me. And last but not least, the product that inspired me to do this entire video, I have a powder lipstick. Can you tell? Yeah. See how inside the bottle is powder? I got this in one of my uh, beauty subscriptions, and I'm amazed by it. It's called a melting lip powder, and pfft, it's the weirdest thing ever. I wish you could reach through the screen and feel the texture on this, because it is, I mean, look. Look at the brush. That is powder all over that brush, but when I apply it to my lips, see the shine? It turns into a lipstick. It's so weird. How does it do it? And it's pretty. Powder, dip, lipstick. Are you kidding me? That's This is just the coolest product ever. And it doesn't feel drying or anything. It just, it feels like I'm wearing a nice creamy lipstick, even though it's powder! And because there's no such thing as a powdered lip gloss, again, for obvious reasons, I'm going to do my little trick where I take a little bit of my highlighter on my finger and just dab it right in the middle of my lips, blend that together a little bit, do a couple pats, and it gives the illusion that I'm wearing lip gloss. All right, we have made it to the end of the all powder face. There's no such thing as a powder setting spray, but that's okay. I feel like this doesn't count as actual makeup, so there you go. With powders, I feel like I look great, but it doesn't feel like there's a ton of makeup on my face. The only reason that I don't prefer doing powdered products is because they don't offer the same amount of coverage that creams do, and they don't have the same color payoff. Like, a cream eyeshadow is way more pigmented or way more glittery than a powder eyeshadow is. Cream foundation and a cream concealer is going to give you that color payoff and really make your skin look glamorous and beautiful. And that's just my personal preference for my own makeup. But for somebody who maybe wanted a little more light coverage, maybe just like a little bit of zhuzh to the normal face, I think wearing powders is a great option. And I hope to see you on my video that I do all liquids and creams just to show you the difference. Have a fabulous day and I will see you for my next video. Do you like my makeup? Do you? Run away if you think my makeup is beautiful.